Hello crochet bunnies and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this peacock mobile, which is very quick and very easy to make and it looks very good in any nursery rooms. You can find the written pattern on my blog, just click the link below. You will need cotton yarn. I use the saffron number 10, which is yellow. The katona, katona 387, which is a charcoal color. Katona 105, which is a bridal white. And katona 212, which is sage green. Other than that, you will need a wooden ring. This is a 20 centimeter in diameter. A three millimeter crochet hook scissors, and safety eyes, these are 6mm ones, tapestry needle, a stitch marker, and you're gonna also need stuffing and uh, a wooden bead. So we start with a magic ring and six single crochet. In row two, you need to put two single crochet in every stitch. So at the end of this row, you're gonna have 12 stitches. In row 3, you put one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the second stitch. Six times, so at the end of this row, you're gonna have 18 stitches. In row 4, you're gonna put one single crochet in the first two stitches and two single crochet in the third stitch six times, so at the end of this row you're gonna have 24 stitches. This is how it looks now and in row 5 you need to put one single crochet in the first three stitches and two single crochet in the fourth stitch six times so at the end of this row you're gonna have 30 stitches
In row 6, you need to put 1 single crochet in the first 4 stitches and 2 single crochet in the 5th stitch 6 times. So at the end of this row, you're going to have 36 stitches. Now you need to put one single crochet in every stitch in the next two rows, so row 7 and 8, you just put one single crochet in every stitch. Now we are in row 8 and this is the last stitch where you need to change color to the dark one, so the black one. And continue making one single crochet in every stitch with the black yarn. So row 9 and 10 you just make one single crochet in every stitch. In the last stitch in row 10, we will change color, but before you need to insert the safety eyes, which will go between row 5 and 6, and leave 12 stitches between the two eyes. Now you change back to color yellow and make one row, which is row 11, with one single crochet in every stitch with the yellow yarn. And you will continue with this sequence, so the row 11 is a uh, yellow, and then you change to black and make two rows, 12 and 13 with black. And then you change back to yellow, row 14, one row with yellow. And then change back to black and do two rows, 15 and 16 with the black yarn. And then you change back the yellow, but instead of one row, you need to do two rows. So 17 and 18 with yellow. So this is how it should look now. You have the yellow and the black stripes. And now we start to decrease our rows.
So in row 19, you put one single crochet in the first four stitches and then one decrease. You do this six times, so at the end of the row, you're gonna have 30 stitches. In row 20, you need to put one single crochet in the first three stitches and then one decrease. You do this six times, so at the end of this row you're gonna have 24 stitches. Now you can start to stop the body a little bit. In row 21, you need to put one single crochet in the first two stitches and then one decrease. Do this six times, so at the end of this row you're going to have 18 stitches. In row 22, you need to put one single crochet in the first stitch and then decrease. Do this six times, so at the end of this row you're gonna have 12 stitches.
Now you can stop your bee properly. Now in row 23, you need to decrease six times. So at the end of this row, you're gonna have six single crochets. Now you have six single crochet in this row and in row 24 you just put one single crochet in every stitch. Make one slip stitch and then close the hole. And our bee is ready. You need to make three more bees. Altogether, you're gonna have four. Now we need to make the wings. The wings are the same as the bee from row one till six, so you just need to repeat the exact same steps. So first you put six single crochet in a magic ring, then you increase six times to have 12 stitches, then single crochet and increase six times to have 18 stitches, then single crochet in first two stitches, then increase, then single crochet in first three stitches and increase, and then single crochet in four stitches and increase. So at the end you're gonna have 36 single crochets. And when you finish to make our wing more circular, you're gonna need to put one single crochet in the next three stitches and then slip stitch in the fourth stitch.
cut your yarn and uh, leave a long tail because you're gonna need to sew this on the B later on. Now we start with the flowers. You're gonna need the yellow yarn. Make a magic ring. And chain three. Now you start with your double crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops, yarn over again, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through all the three loops. Now chain three, and we're gonna need to make uh, three double crochet together. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, then yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over again and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through all the four loops. Chain three and repeat these steps three more times. Close your hole and slip stitch to the top of the two double crochets together. And cut your yarn. Now you're gonna need to connect your white yarn in any of the chain three spaces. I like to connect my yarn with a standing single crochet, but you can alternatively just connect your yarn, chain one and do a single crochet. In the same chain space, you need to put uh, one half double crochet, five double crochets, one half double crochet again, and one single crochet again. Now you need to repeat all these in every chain three space. So you put one single crochet, one half double crochet, five double crochets, one half double crochet, and one single crochet in all the five chain spaces.
Slip stitch to the first single crochet and cut your yarn. Now get your green yarn and leave a long tail because we're gonna sew it to the B later on. Make a slip knot and chain 100. When you chain 100, cut your yarn and you will need four of these chains all together, but only cut three of them. And when you finish the four, just leave it on your hook as we will connect all the four of these chains together later. So here is my fourth chain, I don't cut it, but I put all the other three things on the hook by the last chain we made. Now get your yarn, yarn over and pull through all the four loops and chain one. So now all the four chains are connected. Now you need to chain 40 and cut your yarn at the end.
put your wooden bead on the chain 40 and tight the string and then weave in all the ends. Now this part will be connected to the B. We just need to mark the middle of the B on the top. So what I do is I get my pen and try to find the middle. And that's where we're gonna sew those uh, strings on. But before we do that, we need to connect these chains to the wooden ring. So just divide your wooden ring by four and get your chains and twist them around twice. Now you are ready to sew this string to the V. Just get your tapestry needle and just basically sew it to the middle of the V where we marked before. Now place your wings on the top of the bee, let the chain, the green chain, stay between them and just sew them on.
Now get your flower and connect the green yarn between the two petals. Chain 50 and cut your yarn. Now place the flower between the two bees on the wooden ring and twist the yarn around the wooden ring twice and tie it up. When you're done, just sew the end to the flower. And that's it, crochet bunnies. The cut mobile is ready. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, happy hooking!